the Lord has brought you together and so now I ask you to face each other join your hands and declare your vows to each other <laughs> Everything I'm not and everything I've always wanted. You are my perfect counterpart and my best friend. That's still all I need to know. I promise to work tirelessly for the rest of my life to be the same thing for you. I love you and I cannot wait to see you, Mallory. Oh, couplings. What does it say? It says right and left. Not sure though. That's perfect for you, Jim. <laughs> yeah. When I think about us, I think about finding the little peanut of a dog together and the joys and close calls the three of us have experienced. I think about proposing to you in Evanston in the park next to the small tree where we used to spend time walking and playing with Rue. Here we are to pray our God that he will bless this young couple and watch over them all the days of their life. <laughs> Babe. Mallory, these vows became very easy to write the moment I began to think about the commitment, respect, and love you have always given to me. Give me one of your hands. I vow to care for, honor, and be faithful to you. And just as you have always cared for, honored, and been faithful to me. John, in you I found my perfect compliment. You are my best friend, biggest support, and greatest source of happiness. I promise to never stop growing and learning from you. And of course, to cherish and love you for the rest of our lives, wherever our journey takes us. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you, Mr. and Mrs. John Paul. day like today and it's it's an eye opener for the father or for the for the parents of the of the bride you realize how much your your daughter who was oh, I'm sorry <laughs> your daughter who was your little baby has grown up Mallory you were a beautiful bride today may your joys be pure joys and your pains champagne